What is Lagba Omer? Lagba Omer takes place on the 33rd day of the Omer and recalls the time of two very important events. Number one, the end of the terrible plague that affected the students of Rabbi Akiva, 24,000 of them who had died. The other one is the passing of the great sage, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. Who was Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai? Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai was one of the remaining five students of Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Akiva had bequeathed them the entire Judaism. Rabbi Shimon was an outspoken critic, just like his teacher, Rabbi Akiva, of the Romans. And a bounty was placed on his head. Rabbi Shimon was forced to flee and hid in a cave. Not too, not too unsimilar to the one that I'm standing in now. There Rabbi Akiva, there Rabbi Shimon, will remain hidden for a period of 12 years. After that, after that time, he exited. But he wasn't prepared to live a life outside within the community. So Hashem hears the divine voice and says, Go back, Rabbi Shimon, go back in the cave. You and your son, you're not ready to leave. They spend another year. Once they exit, they become the great scale sages and teachers of the Jewish people. They inspire them with their, with their knowledge and incredible insight to Judaism. The mystical teachings known as the Zohar becomes known as the works of Rabbi Shimon. On Rabbi Shimon's deathbed, he says to his students, please do not mourn my loss, but celebrate my, uh, my achievements. It becomes known as the Hilula, the praise of Rabbi Shimon. To this day, hundreds of thousands of Jews uh, go up the mountain, heading up to the, uh, the city of Savat, to, uh, to Mount Meron. There bonfires are held as we celebrate the, uh, the life and legacy of Rabbi Shimon. Children have their first, uh, three year old boys have their first haircut. And it's a time of bonfires, singing and song. So celebrate Lagba Omer as the day in which the, the great sage, Rabbi Shimon, had bequeathed to us his, his teachings of the Zohar. And now you know.